everybody welcome back to the season premiere of the really real show I'm your host Gail Bean today's theme is the battle of the sexes so let's hit the streets and see what everybody has to say about it Come on. what's your name again? Adriana and where are you from I'm from Rhode Island are you in a relationship yes I'm actually in a relationship right now what do you think are the key components to make a relationship work trust trust communication communication if you can't communicate you're gonna have a lot of problems in that, that's, true. that's true. How long do you think a guy should wait before sex comes into play in a relationship? I would say at least at least about four or five months, uh, six months known a guy before you mess with him. If he was to cheat on you, would you be able to forgive him and move past it? If he was to cheat on me, if he was to admit it mm -hmm. and we was to try to work on it, I could. But it depends on who the person was. Okay. And you know, like Say he goes back to one of his exes or something like that. Now, to me, that'll probably be like more feelings was involved. Yeah. Now, what's the one thing you hate about men? Just Two flirtations. Two flirtations. They, they stare at every woman that walk by, try to talk to every woman that looks pretty. Okay. I like that. Well, we thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Tell us your name and your, where are you from? All right. Uh, they call me Silly. I'm from Kansas, so it's Kansas Silly. Are you single or in a relationship? Yeah, I'm, I'm in a relationship, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, okay. And how long does it take before you press the issue of sex? I have to go according to how fast do I want to move with her. Or, I mean, if I'm trying to be in a, have an actual relationship with you, I might have to wear it down like a month, something like that. I mean, I can, I can wait. So, I mean. Tell me one thing that you hate about women. The child carry y'all emotional baggage to the next person, so it's just spillover. <laughs> like my, I'm not that dude. <laughs> not every girl is like that. Well, thank you, Kansas Silly. Back to the really real show. Hey guys, welcome back to the season premiere of the really real show. I'm your co-host Gail Bean. This is my other co-host John Rushton, and our featured guest Janelle Jay Z Cole. Let's jump into some more topics. So, since we're talking about expectations and everything. How long should you wait before you expect to or bring up the topic of sex with your significant other? <laughs> I personally think, uh, I, I believe you should gauge the type of relationship you plan on getting into. Okay. If you are a single man and you're not looking for anything serious, and I'm going to keep beating that in the head, you got to let what's your expect expectations be known. If you're a single man, early on in a relationship, you need to be saying things not rudely or like trying to treat her like a, you know, a whore. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a slut or a whore or anything of that nature. But just let her know that, hey, I'm not looking for anything serious. You know, if it, not saying that it's not impossible for it to happen, because if it happens, it just happens. But, hey, just let your expectations be known. I'm not looking for anything serious. I am looking for a sexual relationship. So you want them to you be know, a friend. And yeah, it's, it doesn't have to be immediately, immediately. Right. Like, hi, know, my name is. Yeah. Huh, let's you know. see Right. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, if, if you two are feeling each other within the first month or two, I don't see anything wrong. As long as you both know what you're in it for, then I don't see anything wrong with the first month or two being able so to. So you said first, first month, month or two. Physical. So I mean, I, I don't see anything. Right. Should I take over for the women now? Because the men, first month, a month or two, man, okay, that's well, that's what what two. Two. I personally feel that I do agree your expectations to definitely be known far in advance, you know, so you kind of know what you're getting into. I also think with the topic of sex, that's sort of like an individual thing. Like, you know, if you feel like it's it's appropriate, you know, to, to engage in that activity a month or two and that's worked for your relationship because you've set those expectations, who am I to say that's too soon or too late? Yeah. Um, I think that's all sort of an individualistic sort of decision. However, I definitely think that when it comes to engaging in that act, hopefully there should have been some sort of conversation prior to, so it won't be any sort of loss in respect or the expectations yeah. don't feel like they're compromised in any way. And I know for me, there's always a double standard, obviously for both men and women, because I know for men, and maybe you can attest to this a little bit, because I know you're grinning over there, <laughs> you know, you guys tend to look at uh, women if that does happen a little bit too sooner than you have anticipated as uh, that person being loose yeah. or not the right one, whereas, you know, men can do that all the time and it seems to be okay or appropriate or you guys are awarded for, you know, how many <laughs> sort of notches in your belt you get. You, you feel me, Gail? Like, yeah. I, I just, you know, it's, it's a double standard. 
females may say, oh, I feel like he's the one. Mm -hmm. I, you're sexually attracted to them, but you don't want to sleep with them too soon because you don't want them to lose respect to you. Right. So a girl will tell a guy, you know, no. Even when they want to have sex right. with them. Right. Right. You don't see guys say, oh, I, oh, I think no, she's no. the one, so no, she's no. going to give it to me. If it's no, too no. soft, no, girl, no, no, no. we should wait because I want us right. to be together. Right. It's usually, usually no, no. I honestly think a woman would lose a bit of respect for a man who, who she... Not necessarily threw herself at, but mm -hmm. I mean they had a good night and all things were leading to the bedroom and the man were to say, No, I don't you know, <laughs> I think she would I think she would maybe think he had another woman. Now let me ask you though. Know, right, let me ask you as a male, okay, let's role play. Single man and you met this young lady, obviously you're attracted to her and whatnot. Mm -hmm. If she was to say you guys were to engage in that sort of activity a week and to oh. you guys, or even a month per se, honestly, you said a big fat wow. Yeah, I'll follow A wow for the week. Would you lose sort of respect for uh, her, honestly, even if that was your expectations it, it, in the beginning and they were discussed? Honestly, I, as a male. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. Not in every situation anyway. It depends on how she carries herself. If she, if we lay down and then all of a sudden she just kind of just changes Mm -hmm. You know, more so of maybe she felt like she made a mistake mm -hmm. or whatever. The, if she if she changes the whole vibe of the relationship, mm -hmm. that's more likely to make me say, yeah, it probably was a mistake. I maybe need to because you can't do it and then all of a sudden just say, hey, we're not gonna do it anymore. You know, we we're not gonna go back <laughs> well, there. Especially anymore. for you guys, no, you can't so do that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna throw out a situation that happened with me. Let's get it, girl. So Let's there was this guy, y'all. I swear, I liked him so much. Everything was good. We was talking for a good little minute. One night, you know what I'm saying? We had sex. Mm -hmm. One night. I was like, before we just consistently have right, sex, right. I want to get back. I want to have birth control. Mm -hmm. So I had stayed the night with him again, mm -hmm. and he kept trying to do it. And I was like, no, you know, maybe another time. I was just like, not, not, I don't want to go into detail. I don't want to be like, right. oh, well, I would love to have sex with you, right. but I can't because of birth control. I was like, not tonight, you know what I'm saying? But you guys so, say had previously been intimate already. Yeah, once. Okay. So we wake up the next morning, he getting ready for work. He got blasted. Can I hit it in the morning? I'm like, what? <laughs> then, real quick, Gail, translation, hit it in the morning, ladies and gents. <laughs> I'll just let it leave to your imagination How about that. <laughs> then, I got ready to leave. He was going to work. I was like, okay, you know, bye. I was like, give me a kiss. He was like, no. Wow. Excuse me? He was wow. like, I'll call you later. So later on comes, I, mean, he I was text upset. him, wait a minute, he got I text emotional. him, I call him, no answer. Didn't talk to him at all, so I ran into him a lot. I was like, oh, okay, that's how we doing it. Like, I really liked him, thought this nigga is the one, he cool. Mm -hmm. I was talking about, we cool, like, going to church together, stuff is real legit. Right. And I'm like, wow, like, seriously? I ran into him later, and we talk, have a combo, and I, he's all in my face, like, trying to get with me, like, Talk back to me. And I was like, no. I just, you weren't, you showed me your true colors when you did something like that. He was like, I mean, if you would just explain, I shouldn't have to explain to you why I don't want to have sex with you tonight. <laughs> like, if I say no, you nigga, disagree. It's no. you disagree. There I, should be some I, sort I, of I disagree speech, slightly, child, but we, we got to take another break. All ladies. right. We'll be right back <laughs> with the season premiere of The Really Real Show. Don't go nowhere. Nowhere.